So today's musculoskeletal imaging has really improved our ability to take care of our patients. One of the coolest things is a thing called a 3D CAT scan reconstruction. Now this is a procedure where a CAT scan, which is a device that takes slices of a person in images, can take one millimeter slices, put these together in a way that you can get a three-dimensional representational model. What that means is you're no longer just looking at an image front to back or side to side, but you get an actual three-dimensional object that you can look at on a screen, rotated in space. That allows us to plan what kind of procedures we're going to do and really greatly affects our ability to have better outcomes. X-ray is a general screening tool for an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, what an orthopedic surgeon does when he first looks at a person is going to make an assessment. It's important to remember that all of these tools are just an extension of our ability to examine the patient. So someone comes in and they have an injury, something is swollen and painful, you may see that. You want to know what's going on with the structures underneath. So x-ray helps us do that. By the way, we used to have x-rays that took a long time. Now they're done in digital imaging time. And we can not only assess those to the patient, but the patient can have a copy of that x-ray for their permanent files. We can even send it to their primary doctor so that they know what's going on as well. MRI is a technology that we use a lot in musculoskeletal medicine. It allows us to see the actual soft tissues around a person. So now you're not only just seeing an x-ray that shows the bones, but you can see the muscle, the tendons, the fat, all of the kinds of things that make up a person. So we're much, able, much better able to these days kind of make diagnosis about what's going on and look at a person and assess what's happening to them. So ultrasound is a technique which basically everybody's familiar with because probably the newest additions to people's families are imaged by ultrasound. Well, it's a similar thing. We use an ultrasound wand that allows us to see where we can place needles or we can do injections or look at various pathologies. So say for example, you're playing basketball and you jump and you feel something in your leg and you've injured it. Well, you'd have to go to the emergency room, maybe get an MRI, but in the hands of orthopedic surgeons and other specialists that know how to use these technologies, you can come to the office and with a simple ultrasound test, we can see and image that tendon, make an assessment about what's going on and plan appropriately. In surgical procedures, we use imaging as well. Most commonly for orthopedic surgeons, we use a thing called an image intensifier. And what that is, is, is an x-ray machine that allows us to see the person in live time. Um, I use it commonly for procedures when I'm trying to do an injection in a deep joint that's not easily accessible in the office. It allows you to, with pinpoint accuracy, locate where you're trying to be, so it helps you to take care of a patient. So if someone has hip arthritis and a pain, but that hip is not quite bad enough for them to go and have a surgery yet, but they do have some pain in it that's refractory to the other treatments, physical therapy and pills, then you might want to do an injection in the hip. Well, the hip's a deep joint. You can't just kind of poke at it. And so in order to get it accurately in the right place, you use this kind of imaging. You can bring a person in and in three or four minutes you can localize the joint, inject that joint, and have the patient feeling very much better.